I said, we might see some rain in Willacy County. Starting to see a little bit of showers build up there. Everybody else staying dry for the time being. But we're talking about some heavy downpours. The Port Mansfield area, just coastal areas really of both Willacy and Cameron County are going to be the first to see the rain here as we go throughout the morning. But the island for now is staying safe. Don't worry. The island could see some showers though soon. We actually saw some rain out here earlier today and it definitely is in the forecast, although most of us are going to end up staying dry this afternoon as typical with what we usually see here in the valley. 84 on South Potter Island this afternoon, very high UV index, but that rip current risk is still low. Still in the forecast that by the time we get to this weekend, we could see that bumped up to moderate. So make sure you're being careful as you head out there over the next few days. Everywhere else, we're going to see those temperatures in the low to mid 90s across the board. Feels like temperatures are going to be kept in check today. So when you see 93, uh, might be closer to feels like 100, maybe 102 for a lot of us. In the upper valley as well, temperatures in the upper 90s could feel like 105 or so. But remember, if you do get a shower even further inland, you're not going to see those high is quite that high. It's going to feel a little bit cooler than that. If you missed it, our new drought monitor came out today and despite seeing a sprinkle or two over the last few weeks, we're really looking at just that continuous uh, uh, continuous downward progression of where we the opposite direction where we want to go, right? So we're seeing that extreme level of drought actually now stretching all the way across southern portions of the valley. Looking at that as far north as Edinburgh, looking at Harlingen, the island now included and the only place that is on that moderate drought, not severe drought, portions of Wilsey County, rest of us uh, pretty terrible. We need to see a lot of rain not only here, but across much of the state. And even though we do have rain in the forecast, I really don't think it's going to be enough to even get us to any better conditions by the time we get to this time next week with our next drought monitor. So with those sea breeze showers, maybe even a storm or downpour this afternoon pushing on across. By the time we get to this evening, we'll see those rain chances drop significantly. Overnight, I think we'll stay dry until the early morning hours of Friday, where similar to today, we could see a little bit of increased moisture along the coastline bringing us those showers. But it's typical, it'll be Friday afternoon with the sea breeze. So with all that being said, as you're heading out this afternoon, now that we're starting to see some of that rain picking up, especially make sure you're being careful driving. Okay, slow down, leave early, give extra space between you and the the car in front of you and with that being said make sure you give yourself extra room to stop when the roads get really slick check your tires too good reminder I just had my tires changed last week, got some new ones can be especially dangerous if you don't have those tires updated. Uh, so make sure you're taking care of your vehicles as well. Out in the tropics, we have two things that we're tracking. We have Felipe, we have Rena. Both forecasts just progress on westward. No worries to the US and of course, no worries to us here in the valley. We just have those very slight rain chances over the next seven days. Temperatures are unfortunately going to actually stick to the mid 90s. So that's what we have to look forward to with the sea breeze. Hopefully all of us get a dose of rain here or there. Unfortunately, like I said, we don't have any significant rain chances in the forecast, which means our drought is expected to continue.